You too, handsome. <laughs> My man Henry. Don't cut your fingers. Oh, oh my. Oh, I see. Help Teresa get away. Oops. Mount! Mount! Mount it! Don't rush at me. Yeah, back up, man. Back up. Back up. Back up. Let him go disarmed. There you go. You're not going anywhere, aren't Leave your weapon on the ground and get lost. What's to be done? <laughs> Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Greetings, Lord of Tomber. Everyone here has a pretzel. That's right. Turn tail and run. You. Tackle? Oh, business to take care of. My here. man's fast. I didn't know that he was a running back for the 49ers. What? Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm going to read a brief description for you first for, for Kingdom Come Deliverance. It says here, Kingdom Come Deliverance is a story-driven open-world RPG that immerses you in an epic adventure in the Holy Roman Empire. Avenge your parents' death as you battle invading forces. Go on game-changing quests and make influential choices. Explore castles, forests, villages, and other realistic settings in medieval Bohemia. So I, I think we're like some kind of medieval Batman of sorts because of the, the parents thing. Let me read a little bit more for you guys. It says you're Henry, the son of a blacksmith thrust into a raging civil war. You watch helplessly as invaders storm your village and slaughter your friends and family. Very nice. Narrowly escaping the brutal attack, you grab your sword to fight back, avenge the death of your parents and help repel the invading forces. It says here it has massive, realistic, open world, a non-linear story, a challenging combat, which you will see it is very challenging, character development, a very historically accurate, dynamic world, you know, all the, uh, the usual stuff. Uh, I also have a visitor here. Say hello. He just crawled up on me. You guys are lucky. That usually doesn't happen. All right, guys. Welcome to something that will be called um, a long play. A uh, long play? That sounds kind of kinky. Um, people call it long plays these days. I don't know why they call it that. You could just call it a let's play, but it's not let's plays anymore. Don't know why you can't just keep it like that. Is uh, I'll put it on the screen. That's kind of just what people call them these days. <clears throat> apparently so welcome to the beginning of the kingdom come deliverance long play <laughs> if you are a member then you already have access to the vods uh, we, we do this live uh, as you can imagine i cannot edit eight four to eight hours of gameplay that sounds ridiculous i also would not put any editor through that hell uh, until i can afford multiple editors maybe down the road if you're not a member then no worries at all everyone's gonna have access to the vods i wouldn't uh, i don't know why i would keep you guys from getting that kind of uh content it just seems a bit awkward it will be available to all of you <clears throat> and i don't know man it's the vods and the long plays i'm trying something new here I, what do you guys do when you watch this kind of stuff do you just leave it on in the background i feel like people just do leave it on in the background or maybe you can watch them in chunks that's what people do right they just leave it on in the background let's see what else i have here do i have any other updates for you i do not okay once again thank you uh, everyone, thank you to the good people of the Citadel for sponsoring this channel. I'm very grateful. Uh, from the Badlands, we have Ronjo again, the very first devil. Thank you, Ronjo. That's really cool. From the Dragon's Lair, we have our very first Celestials. We have the three Rusketeers at one month. Probably two months now, I should update this. Uh, Jacob Hammer, once again, thank you for dropping by the live stream. Soulworn Sage. And our first adventures, we have Nuggy, D Domino, and Oxygen Thief, who also dropped by the live stream. Thank you very much. 
from the rain district we have our first residents the first amount of residents that we got in this world we're building we have mood dolly we have banger lose bronze thunderbeard oof man and geeked juko geek juko is the newest one thank you again good luck with the rent in the rain district it's absolutely horrible i am eternally grateful to you all i, I think that's it i hope i got everyone i'm eternally grateful to you all thank you to everyone again who has donated through coffee I think it would be Streamlabs now that I, I set up and uh, donated through Supers as well. I'll have you guys listed down below. Thank you, T-Bone Train. Thank you, Luna Nix. Thank you, Bronze Thunderbeard again. Poon Puncture Mang, Billowing Smoke, Oyster Sauce, and a Goat. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me. And as always, if you're not new here, hello, friends. It is good to have you back. I don't have anything else for you guys, right? I have nothing. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys want ad-free content, you guys can go ahead and sign up for the Patreon below. I'll link that in the description. Uh, I put it as cheap as I could possibly make it uh, in, in a way that makes sense. I wish for all members on YouTube, I could just post stuff that uh is not monetized for you all to to get you all ad free content but even if i don't monetize it youtube decides to put ads on videos anyway so if i don't monetize it then they just keep all the money it, it's very stupid uh, i wish i could do something better for you all but that's what i got okay i think that's it that's all the updates charles the fourth king of bohemia and holy roman emperor Hello. Had a long and successful I'm glad reign. you joined us. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and oh. prosperity. <laughs> when the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son. Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But when oh, oh God. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks to that guy for covering it up. That's against TOS. <laughs> he even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical oh, God. solution. Oh, God. Oh, no. The king. To force him they to got abdicate. donkey from ben Shrek. Took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Hardcore mode is more realistic. Recommended for players who are familiar with the. That sounds like. That sounds like I'm gonna get soft locked. I'm not doing that. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, but now, with his son, Wences... The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigisus Smuts of Hungary. Normal, yeah, I did normal. <laughs> oh, look at those! Look at the animals. Silver scallops, fourteen oh three.
for coal miners. That's us. We're the cool one. That's gonna be us. Hey, <laughs> everyone get back to work. <clears throat> God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorcher, eh? <laughs> oh, wow. A humble farm unk don't bald now? It's, it's too late. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening. Drinking like a lord. <laughs> Something better not happen to them. Oh, oh, <laughs> my man. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> now they're gonna die. No. Henry, get up now. Get your ass There's up, work Henry. To be done. <laughs> get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Oh, have you been... he's been jerking oh, off. Oh, Henry. Oh, fighting. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, that's nothing. Fighting, he's this been fighting. What? You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. I don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. <laughs> well, just don't come crying to me. Scratches if you really himself do get like hurt. a fiend. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> <laughs> he sounds like an oaf. Is that us? <laughs> All right, we're really starting from from nothing. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Character. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. Where is my mouse? The mouse is gone, apparently. You were chatting in the tavern. I was dancing. I was with Bianca. Why does being with Bianca mean vitality? What? All right, Henry. I was working in the forge. Oh, man, I was having a good time in the tavern. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Oh. Why would I be interested in sword fighting? <laughs> um, oh man, I don't know. I was with... Bianca. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? <clears throat> all right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Don't worry Thanks, about Ma, me. But I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. <laughs> You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. Go to your father. Is Pa angry at Is me? Father angry with me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you <laughs> promised me Sorry, I was playing that League of Legends all night. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. 
He's too proud to complain. I watched Pa your smack your ass him. earlier. I know. I wish I didn't see Don't that. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. <coughs> uh, oh, oh. All right, see, <laughs> I'm hungry, Phoebe. Can I get something to eat? <laughs> I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. I don't know how to cook for myself or feed myself. Help me. You've reached a new level in vitality. All right. Eat. To eat any food, pick it up in the inventory in the... T you discovered scallops. <laughs> Just put it in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eat from the pot. Oh. You know what? He has a nice cozy family here. What the fuck? Drop? I can put stuff in the pot. Jeez, yeah. What am I doing? Band. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but... How is the chat? I, I hope that it's not... I hope it's still streaming. <laughs> So I'm just gonna continue. I should probably should have probably kept the a browser open. Fifteen apples. Good for fifteen days. Put a human body. <laughs> uh okay. What am I doing here? Alright, I don't want to take my all of my family's food. They seem to be doing pretty well for themselves here. So I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take those apples. I'll take like some of your carrots. And I'll be good. I'll be good for the day. Sell their apples and keep the money for yourself. <laughs> oh no. I want to look out for my family, man. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Hey, Henry. Henry's doing pretty well for... Well, not for himself, but he's pretty lucky to have a family like this. Go to father. You can rob in this game, just don't get caught. Vanilla? Yeah, I, I don't even know if you could mod this game. It, it is vanilla. I don't want to... I may not rob anyone just yet. Papa? Hey, up top, man. I, I saw what you did earlier. At least you're up. That's a start. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, ah. and use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, not drunkard. <laughs> Don't not worry, fun. Dad. He's gonna well, pay you're up. a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come <clears> myself <throat> and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Yeah, his I'll arse. Be happy to hear it. <laughs> Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> ale. Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going Get some there anyway ale. to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Yes, right. Dad. She so gives me sure vitality. Bianca draws me a nice, cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. See you later, Father. 
I'm gonna get some more vitality. Why so that <laughs> there's, there's too much text on the screen. What do you think I went to college or something? I can't read all of this. Oh my goodness. Y'all think in medieval times they believed in backflips? I want to see Bianca. I also want to see the woman who gives me vitality. Excuse me, men. Look out. Oh, he's quite handsome. <laughs> handsome men defending the. I'm not going the right way, aren't I? Do a flip. Oh, you can see your legs. Unfortunately, there's YouTube. Oh, yeah, there's ads. Get head on over to Twitch for a bit while there's not ads on there. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, wow. This kind of reminds me of Oblivion. Like Cyrodo. very cozy very uh i feel very oh thank you i appreciate that he may be handsome but not as handsome as henry those guards strange and ill omened but since i serve our liege lord saradzik i think you know the answer True. Be careful, sir. There's the there's text over your head. You might want to be careful with that. There is quite a lot to do here. Excuse me, sir. Can I play with you? For a throw or two. Immediately got distracted. Yeah, for a throw or two. Dad, nah, just kidding, I'm pulling your leg. I'm at the Renaissance the Fair. <laughs> Y'all think there was a gay medieval king or something? I think there was a lot of... I think there was a lot of uh, LGBT activity during medieval times. I just think you got in a lot of trouble for it. Open the map. Ah, thank you. Now this is more to my liking. Very simple, very straightforward. Buy ale at the tavern. Yes. Let's go see Bianca. <coughs> Bianca! I require vitality. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, Henry. to your king. I'm with you, so Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting <coughs> shit. <coughs> what? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. It's the boys. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> about the Austrians. And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. He seems like a so bad person. He's Wenceslas commander in chief. He stayed loyal I don't know if it's the, the if camera work or if that guy. Like this, that guy next to him. Like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. 
South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about <coughs> Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. Yes. Exactly. Let us. Hi, Samurai. Deutsch has gone too far. I'm glad to see you Wenceslas here. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? Let's I kill him. I have an idea. Sorry, I get Don't carried away sometimes. Don't deserve a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too old, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. I have Mass. apples. Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit. It made me think of that huge pile of manure. <laughs> you know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, we're gonna I throw shit in his house. But doing some chairs all day. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratic sword. Come on, doing a few handfuls of manure is not gonna take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. You're so, how? You may need some are better friends, is? Henry. Hmm. Do I want to... <laughs> His face! <laughs> I thought the world was paused, but the rest of the world is still going. So he's just staring at them. Like this. <laughs> do I want to throw some shit, or do I want to see Bianca? No, I need vitality, man. I don't want to throw poop. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really yeah. don't have time. Yeah, stick. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you possibly We are going like to this? build up Henry as a man of purpose, discipline, vitality, charisma. Let's go see Bianca. Right, Henry? You got your priorities right. Where's hey, Bianca? I'm glad Is this Bianca? Out. Hold on. So right. she's serving. Do I have to sit down or talk to Bianca? I don't want to interrupt Bianca. Actually, Bianca looks kind of... God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too <laughs> handsome. What you here? My man Henry. You do. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Your worship? My goodness, Henry. A picture for father. A picture for I father. <coughs> father told me to go and see Kunesh first. Yo. I see. Hello, Geeker. So shouldn't you be doing that then? But I needed to gather strength by looking at your beautiful face. <laughs> Henry, you buffoon. <laughs> My man. Let's talk trade. You just carry bacon on you? Look, that's us. God damn, we got a... Got a bunch. Okay, I just wanted to see that. <laughs> Alright. Did I not do that right? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Hey. Yeah, I I have to buy the ale, I guess. I didn't do that right. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, what did I you need say? Ale, but father told me to go and see Kunesh first. I see. So shouldn't you be doing that then? But I needed to gather strength. Oh, I see. Okay, that's what. <laughs> okay, I wasn't God paying attention. All right. I thought we could do things out of order. Where is Kunesh? Collect the debt from Kunesh. I want fights to happen. I do too. What's this game about? This game is about. Realistic medieval conflict. 
<laughs> this game is beautiful. It absolutely is. Don't cut your fingers. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I punched his head. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Uh, that honestly sounds really fun and happy to be here. Yeah, I, I punched his hand. You lost your mind? You owe something. Damn. Wait, can we just... Wait, wait, I... I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Shit, what's this? I didn't mean to do that. How do I stop? How do I say sorry to him? Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Help! He's attacking me! Help! Help me! What the fuck? to fight him? Mother, she'll patch you. Mother, help. Mom, help. Mom. <laughs> Dude, this guy's trying to kill me. <laughs> Dude, my, my screen is very red. Help me, please. Guard. Guard, help. Guard. Guard, help. I punched his hand! <laughs> oh, he's good. Hey, can, can, can you pay up now, please? I'm not surprised. Betty was always good with her hands. Wait, can we, can we talk now, please? <laughs> Is this like Elder Scrolls where you can eat it? Like... Does my health go up when I eat it? No. <laughs> so how does this work? Ah, I see. Ah. Wait. This is New England. It's just two bros solving it out. Yeah. <laughs> A thief! 
He's stealing here. <laughs> he's he's stealing. No, I don't have it because. Wait, how do I go to? He's lying. <laughs> See, guards, he's lying. I don't have it. Wait, I need to go to Mama. Mama, I'm hurt. I need help. <laughs> I. <laughs> this is a horrible start. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Eat 400 cheese wheels like Skyrim? I don't think it, I tried it. I think it's just your nourishment. Mama, I got into a fight again. I need help. I'm literally watching from my phone in Costco. <laughs> Leave the village? I need to heal. Where's Mama? God damn it. Is that Mommy? Help me. Help. <laughs> Ma? <laughs> ah, ah, I, I'm hurt. It won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. <laughs> there you are, good as new. Oh, you wow. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Thanks, Ma. I don't know what you did, but it worked. Oh, my God, it worked. Ah. Uh. All right, now about that debt. <laughs> Good day, Henry. Good day. Me. Oh. I need to talk to you. Collect the debt. I'm. Uh, he's not open for discussion. Ah. Excuse me. I'll be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? <laughs> it like... It like flipped the switch in his head. <laughs> well, Alright, all right, I guess that works. Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. Yeah, it looks like I fought a I've bear. Got nothing. Clear off. Pay for the tools at pay the lot or else. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. <coughs> Persuasion. Ah, yes, that's us. That's us right there. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often find what kind of impression you want to make on them. Simply use speech, however, is influenced by the reputation. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are. That is not us right now. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you. In special case, okay, I see. That's really cool. I haven't seen a game do persuasion in that way. But different approaches work on different people. You will intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigning universal value. I see. <coughs> this is a lot. Uh, total speech skill is there. Total charisma level. And then strength. I see. Okay. Go Arthur Morgan style on him. Dude, your debts, your debts must be paid. Look, I know things aren't easy, 
your wife ran off, booze is dear these oh, days. Oh, yeah. And you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. Yes. You son of a whore. <laughs> How dare you speak to me like that? Can your thieving father teach you any manners? <laughs> no? Well, I'll teach you then. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> I'm over here. Yo. All right, all right. How do I do Bloody this? Oh. How does he do that? I want to do yeah. that. Oh, what's a combination? Oh, God, I'm learning. I'm a little tired. A little tired. Oh, good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good one. Bastard dog. How do I? How do I block? How do I? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man. What am I doing? He, he's blocking everything. How, how is he hitting me with everything? I don't know how to... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, how is he blocking like that? I, I want to block like that. Oh my god. A perk point? Back up! Jesus. You had it coming, you I don't know how to block so- Your old man can fuck off too. How did- how do I- Where's this? Read the combat manual. Yeah, he really does not want to pay that debt. F for block. Whenever I press F, he just kicks, though. Do I have to hold it? Yeah, where's the combat manual? Controls. It's primary, secondary, attack. Special Oh, it's Q. Block is Q. What? Hey, can you put that down for a second? Ah. <laughs> that does not look like block. Oh, it is, it is though. Oh. Oh, no, I was fighting Conor McGregor here. Now, now. Hey, you! Don't move up. Help me! No, help me! Help me! Help me! Bring it on. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh. <laughs> Got you. And now I'll fix you good and proper. You'll soon learn what justice means. What? <laughs> he looks so terrible. <laughs> Even if I ignore your other crimes, your brawling is reason enough for me to clap you in eyes. How irons. about some ale? You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That'll land you a fat fine. I have, I have a secret task. I have a secret task. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. The Lord of Ratai sent me on a secret mission. And to do it, I have to bend the law a little now and again. Understand? 
Do you think I'm so stupid as to fall for such a fairy tale? But it's Not true. I don't have enough money. That's too much. I don't have that much coin. You don't pay, you go to jail. Uh, starting like an actual Elder Scrolls game. Jail it is then. Father, you'll love it there. It's all set up just for the likes of you. And since Father, I, trust I went to jail. As much as I trust, well, a thief, I'll just search you to be on the safe side. Better hand I have over the apples. Loot now. <laughs> There's a cutscene for Maybe next time. You'll think twice about breaking the law. Do I still have my apples? What's going on? Henry! Where are you, Henry? <laughs> Dear Lord, please let him be safe. Hey! <laughs> no! I'm over here! What the hell's going I on? I didn't get let to do out. talk to Bianca yet! <laughs> I didn't get my dad's debt. I didn't do any of the quests. For the love of God, let me out! Let me out! <laughs> For the love of God! Henry! Oh god. I died in- What? <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that was my playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> What the fuck? All right, all right, all right. All right, clean slate. We got all the quests and it's it's for real this time. <laughs> New code, okay. Now I know. Let's just go straight to to this guy. It all started with accidentally punching his hand. <laughs> How do I distract him? Because he needs to pay his debts. How do, maybe I could practice. Get a sword this time. I need to see what the combat is like. Surrend special attack. Execute kick in clinch or fist fight. Mercy kill when enemy is dying. Tackle when chasing down an enemy. Clinch? How do you clinch? Practice on Bianca. <laughs> Oh god. Wait, I need to talk to you. God be with you, Kunesh. God what be you with want? you. My father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Pay the lot or else. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. <laughs> Okay, and then, so it's all a mystery. Pay hey, you drunkard! I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore! How <laughs> dare you speak to me like that? Didn't We're doing this again, Kodesh. Any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Take care. Did he, did he say take care? He said take care at the end. Hook. Strong. Slower. Slower hand strike to the head. Jab. Direct hand blow to the face. Oh, okay. So the opponent... So the purple one is his health. 
And then there's wounds. If you cover yourself badly and your armor is weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding. Bleeding will lead to death. Ah, I see. Damn, this is... There's... <laughs> there's a, a lot going on here. Okay. So jab, hook, kick. Lock and unlock. And then... Okay. Hey! I'll slaughter you! Oh, I have to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> I have to sneeze. Combo. Jab again. There we go. Yeah. <coughs> Enough. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Oh, I feel bad. Ah. Find something at Kanesha's that's worth something else too. Oh, he needs a break. Are you winning, son? I am. I am. <clears throat> All right. I got to search something else in your home. Collect the debt. Yes. Let's see what you have in here, Kunesh. I know your wife left you and everything. I'm sorry. That's how the world works. In fact, I feel quite bad doing this. But I have to. <laughs> These guys are nothing. Unlock. <laughs> Kunesh is, oh. I'm sorry, man, I have to. I gotta take your stuff. This guy's gonna have nothing now. <laughs> Thank you, Kodesh. Okay, I think I literally- I took every last thing he had. I even ate from his pot. Blacksmith boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. All right. Sorry about that. It's just the way the world works. <laughs> Collect the debt from Kanesh. All right. All right. We we got <laughs> we we completed our first quest. <laughs> You beat a man that enter his home. <laughs> I'm a debt collector. Damn. I'm kind of glad debt collectors don't really... At least, like, consumer debt collectors don't work like this anymore. That would be crazy. Oh, I should have taken the sledgehammer. <laughs> beat the fuck out of him with the sledgehammer. Father! About the things you uh, wanted. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I got... I got everything from Kunesh. Kunesh didn't want to pay, so I got no money for those things you sold him. But I took them, in lieu of the debt. Took, meaning he gave them to you, or took, meaning stole. If he didn't pay, then they're still ours. How can you steal something that's yours? Fair point. Give it to me, then, and here's some money for the rest. <laughs> Average day in England. This is how tax collection should work. Game is looking pretty fire. Yeah, it's it's really I'm really enjoying it. 
I didn't think there would be that much freedom to do whatever you want, but I was free to punch Kunesh in the back of the head whenever. It was great. <clears throat> Greetings, Henry. Greetings. Hello. What a lovely day out in the town. Welcome, Henry. Oh, thank you. How are you doing? You don't have a name. <laughs> hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? No. I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. Okay. Hail to the hero. Is Hello? Great Hello, everyone? Points and axes! All you need to tame Mother Nature! Farming stuff? Oh, wow. Thanks. Pleasure as always. You discovered the tavern, right? That's where Bianca is. Alright, I think we've reached the end of the town. Let's go. Let's go restart this cutscene that's over here. It's the same thing, right? I can just skip it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. And then I said I will. Yeah. I don't want to teach the Deutsche lesson, but I really Yes, I'm focused. There's blood all over me too. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Almost 12 a.m. for me. I'm gonna roll out. Have a good one, guys. Good night. Thanks for joining. Excuse me. Hello, Bianca. Bianca's busy. Never All right. mind. All right. Hell yeah. Look at these two lads. God save, my lovely. <laughs> There's blood you all over tonight. me. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? You do. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Uh, a pitcher for my father. I need ale for father. <clears throat> a pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> oh, <of laughs> he nods. <laughs> Yay! Here you are. Thanks. Thank you, Bianca. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Oh! Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for oh, you. Oh, my man, Henry! <laughs> I can't wait. Going above Thanks. and beyond. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach <coughs> me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. <laughs> I'll be going now. Henry's gonna be a, a sword fighter. I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, save your schnapps. Really? Wow. You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. He put it in his pocket. What a loving and kind relationship. Which means she's absolutely going to die. <laughs> A pitcher a day keeps the measles away. That's what they said back then. Father, How are you, I have your, I have your ale, father. <laughs> He's really booking it. <laughs> Hello, father. Please, please take the ale yeah, from me. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Wait, I got your ale though. I'm okay. I've got to go to a I, sword fighting lesson. 
Actually, there's one thing I forgot. Just give me a moment. Get a move on. We have to finish the sword today. I thought I had your... your ale. Okay. Did I not... Okay. Buy a bag of charcoal from the market. Drink savior schnapps whenever you want to save the game. Is that the thing? You drink the schnapps? <laughs> Eat. Oh, what? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alchemy. If you need another flask of savior schnapps, you could buy it from a trader or at a tavern. Better again at an apothecary. On the other hand, you could just brew it yourself in the alchemy tab. <laughs> That's incredible. I need some charcoal, please. Good day. <laughs> Good day. See you later. I just need some charcoal, please. Oh, you gotta, like, close the deal and everything. <coughs> oh, I need- okay, sorry. I need a bunch. Steal the charcoal. I- I am not in a place to do that just yet. Alright, let's check the basket. Close the deal. You've reached a new level, new perk point. Drunkenness. Alcohol begins to act gradually, giving you a bonus, giving you bonuses on speech, vitality, charisma, and strength. Although something. Uh. Okay. Oh my God! There's so much. Ye oldie Fallout. <laughs> yeah, it is. What the hell? Why does my game look different? Is that just me? Are my eyes deceiving me? Ah! <laughs> ah! I swear it did something to my game just now. Is it because I'm drunk? Maybe it's because I'm drunk, or a little tipsy. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? You don't think so? <clears throat> I got your... okay. I guess you Not don't. Yet. I'm working on it. And how much longer will it take? Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. I guess you don't... Well, you, you want, want everything at once, I guess. Saradzic. No, I don't. I'll be back soon. All right, let's get let's get the cross guard at the castle. All right, and some handsome fellows. May I? I'll be with you. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? <laughs> they talk like Oblivion NPCs. Uh, I came for the cross guard. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so My father fun. is an excellent blacksmith. Sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever <coughs> botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. What a couple of bros. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. Henry looks See like a very jolly tavern. fellow. He certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Well, good on you, Henry. What a real friend. Steal the... Sp Go to the Vanyak guy for sword practice. Yeah, let's go. 
Let's go see him real quick, because I think Father wants everything at once anyway. Or it's the last thing to do. Okay. Let's go see. <coughs> Oof. Let's go see what we can do with the sword. Henry, I'm glad you came. Hello, Combat Master Vanyak. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. <laughs> Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? That's I a don't good, want to rot good in answer. This hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. Me too, the man. It's a dangerous place, and I need to know how to protect myself. Yes. Spoken like a man. Yeah. But as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yes. yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Oh, he's so nice for teaching us. Does follow you? Oh, he, he's heading over there already. So this is, I guess we're wearing all of this. We, we have Kanesha's keys. Like we can enter his ca his house whenever we want. <laughs> uh, that's, that's interesting. Oh, what's that red? Conspic, conspicuous. <coughs> Player. Oh god damn. Oh, didn't it say we had like an extra perk or something? So strength. Is that this right here? Um, what are we? Oh, that's the min. It's like a list of stuff. Okay. There's combat, skills, buffs. Okay. Bye, I'll see ya. I'm I'm glad to have seen you here. Thank you for joining. Our house, yeah. You know, matter of fact, Vadnyak, I'm just gonna walk over there with you. Why don't we go? Oh wait, hold on. I need to see this. Oh my god. Oh sorry, I don't wanna scare you. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Can I pet the sheep? They're scared of me though. Hello? Can I... I wanna pet the sheep. Oh my god, look at them. <laughs> I gotta go to have a great one, you'll get well soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm gonna try to take it easy today. I'm having a lot of fun with the cozy stream, and I'm glad the, that you came by. Is it control the walk slow? I forgot. I don't know. I just know it's sprint to shift. All right, let's do this. So, can we get started? Yes, we can. We can. <clears throat> Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Okay. I guess we've been doing this for some time already. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. In combat, you're locked into your opponent. You can lock opponent anytime. Holding left shift. Okay, that's just to run. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Okay. Slash strong attack. So the overhead's strong. Very good. Nice. I, I guess they're all strong. Not bad. Very good. Very good. 
The point of the blade is for stabbing. Tried a few times. Hello, Alan. Sl stab. Weak attacks tend to be faster, more precise at the cost of force. Stabs can be aimed at the face, upper zone, or at the body. Any other zone? Not bad. Again. Body. Fine. <laughs> All right. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Okay. Chain strikes together the combo. <coughs> Fine. Nice. Oops. Now you're getting it. All right. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. That is true. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. I'm gonna be AFK at the moment. Yeah, go ahead. Alright. I think we got everything, right? Go back to father. Father, I have everything. Oh, oh, my eyes. I think I'm getting allergies at the same time. Oh. Rem remember me? Yes, I do remember you. Oh, God. I'm getting allergies at the same time. Oh, yeah. I'm back to say I'll be back in an hour or two. Go ahead, man. Glad to see you again. Father. About the things you wanted. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yes, father. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Where have you been with that ale? It's as flat and warm as horse piss. Go back and get me another, and you can pay for it yourself. That's the price of stupidity. Yeah, what the hell? I tried to bring it to you earlier. What the... <laughs> the game didn't let me do it. <laughs> Next is monkey pox. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna get monkey and dog pox. <coughs> yeah, I might be heading off soon as well since I gotta walk my dog and I got a project I'm working on. Go ahead. It's always good to see you. What are we doing? Hey, uh, can I get another one, Bianca, please? You look like something the cat dragged in. Ah, <laughs> oh, good one. Good I'm one. Back. <laughs> I can see that. What's the matter? I need another pitcher of ale. The last one wasn't cold enough for father. You want me to get it for you? Bye. Right. And a smile from you. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me Again? back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. You guys said this, this already. I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Damn, Bianca is really looking out for you. This town's doing pretty well. Rob this tavern. I don't want to rob the tavern. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> uh. All right, father. 
I got your cold ones. This guy drinks beer and makes swords. What a life. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasau did for us. All right. Oh. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. Damn. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? <coughs> Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. Yes, father. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. At least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Henry's sad. <laughs> so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rubbish, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Hmm? Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Ah, he's smart. Listen to father. Hi, goat. <clears throat> the furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, <sighs> and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Don't screw this up, Henry. Do it. Oh God, with his bare hands. You're crazy. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Damn, that guard looks crazy. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother <coughs> and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. He's but reminiscing. Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here. 
The audio is we'll put it really all good for the, the voice acting. <laughs> it's really cool. Damn. Wow. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. <laughs> They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> Go and get the nails for Teresa. Hello, Teresa. I will get... <clears throat> I will get them for you. Would you like an apple while you're at it? <laughs> Nails for Teresa. Okay. Go in. Excuse me, mother. <laughs> Sorry. Father, did you say something? Here you go. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. Is that no, what do? Go and get um, those damn nails. She's fine. Why do you ask? <laughs> Father. Just wondering. What? Will you be going to the dance this evening? <laughs> we will. <clears throat> Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. Teresa, I'm right. spoken for. Soil is truly beautiful. Teresa, I don't. I don't want to hear. <laughs> Fine luck, eh? Henry, calm down. Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> oh God. Ooh. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. But you haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? try it. What the fuck? <laughs> He, he doesn't want his son to learn. <laughs> yeah! You still have a lot to learn. Good job, Henry. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. But How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. Ooh. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. No one knows why. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. <laughs> He's I'm under sure an Arthur NDA. He certainly will. <coughs> Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. Oh. Thank you. That guy seems nice. It's he seems like he'd be bad because of his Have a safe journey. How he looks. But. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Oh man. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? 
Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. <coughs> I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Yeah, but that... Talk as if you've seen it happen. That could happen to... Man my age like has seen a lot. Anything. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. Yeah, but, First, yeah, like father, you world. had your adventures Meet already. People. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn sword play. You can learn fist play. What the fuck? The There's messenger. danger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh my god! That's what happened when we were in the jail cell earlier. Many soldiers. <laughs> Who are you fighting here? <laughs> oh God! Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. Oh, they're done. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Grab the apples! <coughs> oh my god. This is called to adventure, Henry. Let's go. Help him, Henry. Kingdom came. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Henry, it's time to go. It's time to go, Henry. Yeah. Listen to your friends. Oh, see, you still got good company with you. Oh, f Find a horse! Ride to town, Berg! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the moats! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! Oh, 
Oh, he might help you learn how to fight. Oh my god. Oh shit, they're right behind! He's right, he's right there! <laughs> uh, oh, this is kind of an awkward chase, isn't it? <laughs> is he... He's gonna take the path. <laughs> I'll get you eventually. Oh my god. What a horrible day. I think Bianca's probably dead. So your your mom died, your dad died, your Oi, 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 oi. Alright, alright, alright. Sorry, I it got the better of me. I did not like what I was seeing. That that was all. Alright, alright, alright. Well, I guess we were supposed to do that anyway. We just weren't supposed to do that the way I did it. Where did your sword go? I don't have a it's technically not my sword. <laughs> they delivered a sword tip to your face. <laughs> Oh, that's the sword. I, d I don't like what I'm watching here, man. What the fuck am I looking at? I can't see. What the? Okay, I don't know. Okay. Am I supposed to let her just... Am I supposed to let that happen? I don't want to let that happen. Don't help bro your butt naked. They got armor. I hope if I get the horse... No, you gotta defend Teresa. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I guess I do I get the horse first is the question. Go to hell, you turtle Yeah, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Do it for King Argon. Oh, I see. Help Teresa get away. Oops. Mount! Mount! Mount it! Alright, 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 wait. Mount it! Mount! Okay, he's not mounting it. He did not mount it. He did not. I was pressing it and he didn't do it. Dude. Maybe I think I whistled too soon because I think it alerted them. Now I know which horse it is. I don't think we're going to attack them while on the horse. I think what I'm going to do or what I'm, what I'm gonna end up doing is getting the horse and then quickly scooping up Teresa. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's this one. There you go. 
Trot is the horse's basic pace. Capsula gives your his walk. Canter ideally coins a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Okay. Follow a path. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on. If you give him his head. Okay. Come! Come here! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Can the horse bite his head? Get him, boy. Bite his head. You pigs! Don't touch me! Oh! Yeah. Teresa, where are you? Oh god! Yeah! Teresa, where'd you go? <laughs> yeah. It's a very awkward. This is a very awkward uh, chase scene. <laughs> yeah. Did Teresa go back in the house? Yeah. He went into the yeah. house. Oh, holy shit, Warhorse! Oh my goodness! Hello! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you guys! She went in the house? Do I do, do I go and get her? <laughs> or or is it safe to leave now? Yeah. You helped her already, okay. Alright, it's time to leave. Thank you. Wow. Actual War Horse Studios helping me here. <coughs> Time to flee. Also, I'm sorry, there's there's quite a delay on YouTube. I'm gonna have to fix that next time. It's just a wound. Keep going. Oh! You're bleeding. You don't know yet to, how to bandage your wounds. You need to find someone who can help you. Yep. Yeah. Go sprint. Sprint, boy, sprint. Sprint boy, oh my goodness! Oh my god, they're killing everyone! You're doing well, glad you helped her. Dalberg is the. Oh! Dalberg is the. Oh! Yeah! Are they still behind? Oh god. He has arrows! Oh my god, they're getting closer! Oh god, there's a dude running! Watch out! <laughs> oh my god, where am I going? This place is huge! <laughs> where am I going? <laughs> I'm going places, man! That's what I'm doing! <laughs> Run for it! Run! Oh my god, this place is beautiful! It's like Red Dead. Get out of the way! They tore it Yes! Warn the others! Oh my god, they're right on me! <laughs> Oh no! Once he's recovered a bit, at le oh god, I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I don't yeah. know. You gotta keep running, horse.
The horse is tired. Ooh, nice dodge. This poor guy. Someone <coughs> give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Hot wine, yes. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Oh. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. Oh, we'll pull that arrow out. <coughs> Hi, hello. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Oh. There you go. Good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Dude, he lost everything. How uh, symbolic. He asked for his adventure and he's getting one. Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? Were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. <coughs> the soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. <sighs> What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. 
Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. I'm glad they're very, very kind to him. I feel like most games set in medieval eras kind of showcase this uh, fantasy version where everyone's kind of like an asshole to each other. But I, I like this, especially soldiers. They typically show soldiers in a, in a negative light. Very kind. I hope nothing happens to them. <clears throat> My bed. Discovered Baker. Alright, so this is where we were just talking. Could go up, maybe? Nah, he's dead. You know, I feel like you may be right. Which is a bit sad. Is this my bed? This can't be my bed. Sorry. Sir Divish, where's my bed? Oh, it's down. Is it down there? <laughs> Sir Robard, hello. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good <laughs> meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a first Oh, I, I really hope nothing I happens to Sir Robard, to man. <laughs> must. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but... Reputation loss. It's a great loss. What the hell happened? Uh, yes. Ah, my lady. You are fortunate. Our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honoured. So this <clears throat> is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he no. must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. That's so fill. kind. And a little wine to wash it down. Yes, Thank please. You, lady. <clears throat> Thank you. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Wow. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. I am. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. I will protect these people with my life. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Yep. <laughs> Reputation lost because somebody wanted to talk to you, but you ignored it. Hey, just like in real life. <laughs> I guess I didn't notice. Eat. Damn. Ooh. Some roast duck, man? Hell yeah. Can I eat that right now? Hunger. Can, can I eat that right now? There we go. Yummy. Yeah, man. It's yummy. Oh god, I'm tired and I'm sleepy. <laughs> oh. Food. In the Middle Ages, whether at a village or the royal court, the foodstuffs used were mainly those sourced locally. My reputation is negative IRL. Vegetables, primarily cabbage, onions, parsnips, turnips, beets, and garlic, and to a lesser ex extent, carrots, celer celeriac, parsley, cucumbers, okay, got a bunch here, available all year round, depending on wealth availability. This is so cool, man. There is like 
an entire description for these types of things. So I'm hungry and sleepy. Well, that's kind of me. Me IRL. Oh, I have to eat something. Getting My over a cold. Shriveled up with the hunger. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. I'm, I, I'm, I'm taking care of you. Let's eat the apples from home. Roast duck gives a lot of nourishment, but makes you tired. Vegetables give less nourishment, but even provide energy and health. Damn. You guys really went all in on, like, how much detail there is on the survival aspect. Because if you eat light in real life, too, you'll be less tired, more energetic, more limber. If you eat heavier, hey. you'll be sleepier. Excuse me, I think my bed's up there. Maybe not. <laughs> Where's my bed? Maybe in here? Nope. <clears throat> oh, in there? Maybe here? Oh, absolutely. If you are tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is a solution. Find an available bed. Sleep on it. Or sit on it. Oh, I see. Damn, even the eloquence, man. Even in real- yeah, like in real life, if you're tired, like, you're just not gonna be as graceful. Like, your conversations will be a little, like, slightly off-putting. Wow. Oops. <coughs> so, it is... Damn. We might as well sleep. Yeah, I sleep for 10 hours, man. <laughs> we need all of that sleep. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. This poor guy, dude. He didn't take off your boots. Oh, maybe I was supposed to do that, like, manually. Yes? <laughs> it is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you... Could do with a little wine. I don't want anything to happen it's to just them. just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't <laughs> sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Riz. <laughs> Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. <coughs> but I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. Oh. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Wow, they're so incredibly kind to Henry. Henry seems to have uh, 
gained powers of invisibility. You might be right, man. Of indivisibility. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it was terrible and unexpected. It's terrible, like my other. lady. Father sent me into town. <clears throat> There you go. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. Oh, he's there. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Hi, Frank. It's good to see you again. Sir Radzig came to look at the sword. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. <laughs> but Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Uh, saw smoke in the horizon. Do this one. The horde of soldiers was amassed. Penance flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death <laughs> descended on Scalitz. You're getting a free therapy session, Henry. Oh, did they really kill her in front of you? They I killed me in front of you! I saw a group of humans <laughs> chasing down my Bianca, murdering her for sport. There was nothing I could do to help her. You mustn't blame yourself. She's with the Lord now. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called <coughs> down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Humans were plundering. I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget Cora. <laughs> it will haunt me for the rest of my life. Yeah, man, Henry is traumatized <laughs> for Terrible. the rest of his life. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand <coughs> your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through, I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Sivish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, <coughs> burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, 
But it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Wow. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. <coughs> And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Oh. Your best years are still ahead <laughs> Henry. of you. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Would that that were true, lad. <laughs> Would it be true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I can't tell if she's turning into a mother figure I enjoyed for him, our or talk, Henry. if he likes her. Good night, and God bless. They like each Good other, night, my lady. That little smile tells me that it's a romance thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> my guess is Henry's pretty young. Take off your boots. <clears throat> oh, he's having nightmares. Yeah, boots, Henry, yeah. Yeah, he watched his parents die here. Like, there wasn't even a chance for her to just be wounded. Like, they went to town. Help us. Don't be a coward. Oh, yeah, he's traumatized. <coughs> Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Hold on, let me fix my chair. <sighs> Gotta sit up for this. Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. Alright, Henry, let's go. How's your nourishment and everything? Nourishment, energy, you're good. Just bring yourself. And this torch. <laughs> Even better use a Nighthawk potion. If I have one, I don't want to use that yet. In the inventory tab, you will see all your equipment with detailed descriptions. I don't think I have new outfit stuff. Has the kingdom come yet? It did come, a little bit. They didn't even mention those ragged shoes. Also, good job figuring out how to separate chat. Uh, yep, I had to take care of that, man. Thank you for us. letting me know. And anyway, All right, I'm here. Sir Robard. Oh. Oops, what's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? 
especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalax. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his scent to Scarlet, the spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spy say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. I still have blood on my shirt, dude. Who else, Robert? Sir Adzig. What a relief. Uh, is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, <laughs> you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Radzik, you didn't me. exactly pick <laughs> the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. How he did they... He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. There's no evidence that but they defended me, friend, successfully. How on earth did you manage to there get away? Go. Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left us storming the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. Hmm. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Is that real? Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. I hope Radzig's a good guy. He I would like to think he's a good guy. There's no point dying in a battle that's he seemed all right in the beginning. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? <clears throat> I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. Teach him. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? Yes, your adventure. I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? <laughs> what do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you he once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired <laughs> of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. <coughs> I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. Uh. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Anywhere, people! Damn. Move out. What a... What a purposeful and meaningful conversation. Uh, friends should talk to each other this way again. <laughs> like, speak from far away. Good evening! Man, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. Yeah. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalas people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Yes. I, I really like the the call to adventure Henry, story I need to have a word going on. Why is Hetri's eyes so contracted? 
I don't know, man. <laughs> what is it you need? <clears throat> I could use an extra pair of eyes. Yours are key. Will you keep watch of the battlements, my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done to me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Take care. He's so nice, man. So we are to watch over the battlements. Which is... Inside, I guess? Not inside, I guess. Let's talk to the guards. Good day to you. What do you need? What do you need? What do you think about the scouts folk fleeing? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Splendid. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Kobe. How are you doing? I'm sick today. Good day to you. <clears throat> okay, it's the same thing. Oops. Farewell. <laughs> He was shorter that time. Don't get caught slacking. No, of course not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe we do talk to him. What do you think about the Scalitz folk managing to slip away like that? I can't imagine how. <coughs> the more I think about it. They was either blessed, or Sigurdsson's mercenary army ain't up to much. When you're on campaign, you keep watch no matter how much you're pissing down. If any of us makes such a cock of Sir Robard will flare his skin up out Yeah, backs. right. You only say that because you never saw them attack. Aye. Well, it's a shame your folks couldn't be saved. Is Sir Robard really that tough? Tough? Aye. But he's fair. He's a veteran of many a campaign, so he knows Warcraft. I believe it. Okay. Farewell. This is what he meant by the battlements, right? <coughs> <coughs> okay, there's unexplored places, but he's asking us to keep watch here. So Robard sounds like a robot from Clone Drone. <laughs> He's a good guy. I wonder if he meant, like, on the inside. Okay. Alright, alright, we're meeting more people. Good day to you. What do you need? <laughs> his, uh... Lord watch over you. His face kind of scrunched up in there. This must be the gates. Oops, sorry. Howdy do, what's up, Cube? <coughs> Good to see you. I'm sick today. Sick live stream. Where? Maybe he did mean inside? No, it says lockpick. Main quests. Keep watch on the battlements. Posted. I guess we're just gonna keep watch out here. Wandering around like a stray sheep must be your first watch. Eh? It is actually. I don't yes. think anything much will be happening today. <coughs> you can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. And I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Skip time. All right. Get to wait for something. You could press T. Wait until morning. Uh, 
Oops. Yeah, let's do seven. Seven AM. What's going on? There's something happening. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go! Go! Let's go! Let's go, buddy. Me and you. self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise, though. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scalis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? Yeah, man. Calm down. I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt <coughs> Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. <coughs> As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. Ooh. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the uh. crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, oh where my he God. might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik, of which you speak, is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king, then, that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. So is Radzig... Has he been, he been doing to stuff? The king ...in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, that's some new... That's new news. <coughs> Uh oh, what's he gonna say?
Oh, my lord, man. you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. A man's great with diplomacy. Red zigzagger. With the silver from the Skylet's mine. Yeah, apparently he's been doing some shady shit. He kind of had that look on his face, but I still don't know who to believe. <clears throat> the close one, fellas. Bury your loved ones in skeletons. Talk to Sir Robard. Get a horse. Yeah, I'm gonna need a horse. What time is it? It's still morning. Alrighty. I could put this away. Oh shit! I did not mean to do that. Okay. Can we put the torch away? There. <coughs> Charisma 10. Yeah, man, that was close. Everyone could have died. Punch everyone in there. I was punching someone earlier. Sir Robard, may I have a word with you? Jesus Christ be praised. Gods be praised. I have to get the Skalitz. Sir Robard, I need to get to Skalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Hmm. Damn. <clears throat> Let me help before I lose my temper. <laughs> oh, man. If you were in my shoes, you'd do the same. Oh, man. Come on, man. You'd do the same. It's a robot. My parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad. But oh, I won't man. take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Please, man. I might just have to go on my own, man. Let me ask someone else. Ooh. Maybe we can ask someone else. Apparently I also leveled up. Maybe? Does it do it automatically? How much money do I have? Nothing. I have almost no money. At all. No. That's about it. Okay. Pretty pleased with cherries on top. Yeah, he's not budging, man. We may have to just talk to someone else. Good morning. <clears throat> oh man, you look depressed. Is there a traitor here somewhere? No. Take care. I don't need that. Uh. <laughs> hey, you didn't pick your nose, man. <laughs> Votova. God be with you. And with you as well. Oh, he's a traitor. May the Lord watch over you. Oh, man. I need to go bury my parents. <laughs> what if I talk to the Lord himself? This is a big place. Can I go down there? <laughs> Click on the main level, then you can select which perk you want. <coughs> Buy lockpicks from him and rob this place. I will rob if I really see fit to it. I don't want to get in trouble. <coughs> so, main level, pick which perk you want. What do you mean, like... Player? Is that what, you, that what you were thinking? I must not be doing this right. I'm level 2. Okay, I don't know... Oh, is it... 
Is it this? Oh, this is what you meant by main level. I see. And these are perks. Okay. And this is when it levels up, I guess? Makes sense. Okay. I think I'm understanding now. Alright, main level. It's like first aid. <clears throat> Manly odor. When dirty, you'll have a 50. You have 50% 50 more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth skill by 30%. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that sounds. Like it's worth it. Knight Rider. Okay, Scout. You grew up in impoverished conditions, so comfort of beds inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. No. I don't know, man. I'm gonna do manly odor. <laughs> There you go. That seemed worth it to me. Very good. Very nice. Oh my god, there's even perks for this stuff? Dude, there's so much. <laughs> Alright, cool. <clears throat> Who the hell stealths when they can be a paladin crushing skulls? And yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I just want to be heavily armored and walk in there with a big... <laughs> with a big hammer. Okay. Is there, will Lord Divish give us a horse? Perhaps through his kindness, <coughs> he will allow us. Maybe if we go on a quest for him? Sorry. No. <laughs> I did not. That's not what I meant. Take your nap. He must be, like, downstairs or something. <laughs> yes, it goes very deep. It's a very detailed RPG, and you can try different approaches to solve quests. Yeah, I'm starting to think, like, stuff that I usually would think, like, couldn't apply to games. It might be able to apply here. Like, any ideas I have for quests. So that's very interesting. Is Lord Divish in his quarter? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> he maybe he's out and about. What the? I don't know where he went. How's my hunger? Pretty good. Is it still from yesterday? I might as well take it. Bread roll. This is making me hungry. <laughs> Get some soup. Some bread. No, wake him, bro. Who sleeps at this time of day? What time? Well, I mean, it's nine. I mean, it's it's good to wake up at that time, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe... One time we counted 14 different ways to resolve the tutorial in scallops, like picking flowers to sell them and buy the charcoal. I never talked to Kunesh at all, or stealing the charcoal. Wow. If you were here earlier, I was punching Kunesh in the back of the head. <laughs> The first time, I punched his hand on accident, and he got very upset with me. And, uh, he showed me a thing or two. Um... Excuse me, miss. Can I... Okay. I don't think you care, do you? Hello? 
Oh. Chamberlain? They got Emma Chamberlain in here. Oh, I can't talk to him. This map looks beautiful. <clears throat> I love open world games. You pretty much stole everything? Wow. So, wait, stable master. Look out. Am I not cool enough to talk to you guys, guard? My respects to you. Is there sure. Let's just talk to you. You know trigger. where I can buy and sell things. I try the kitchen. The cook sometimes sells a surplus food. Otherwise I don't know. Try asking the villagers if there's anything they want or have to trade. Alright, that seems about right. They wouldn't just know absolutely everything. Villager. God be with you. <coughs> can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? You want Votovar, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Tamburg fish pond. He should be around the granary somewhere. Farewell. You? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Good luck to you. Is there stuff I can give to you? This guy has a treasure map. <laughs> I could give him the stuff I'm wearing. <coughs> uh, here, you want this arrow? <laughs> there you go. There you go, gave you an arrow. <laughs> okay, we'll be gone again. Have a great day and enjoy Kingdom Come Deliverance. You can try to collect nettles and sell them to him. Thank you so much for dropping by. It's incredibly humbling that the actual, like, actual Warhorse Studios <laughs> came by. <laughs> so thank you, I hope you guys have a good one. Oh, can I join in on this? You guys all right? My respects to you. <sighs> Damn. Farewell. I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to go on my own. <laughs> Bury your loved ones. Optional. Get a horse. I might. <clears throat> <clears throat> Will you let me out? Good health to you. Can I get? Can I come out? I need to get out of, here. To get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate. You especially are not to be let out. God damn it! Server Robert, no, 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 no. Don't. Never mind. Don't mess with these people. Good luck to you. I need to find Lord Divish. Another cool thing about this game is the time doesn't go by at the speed of light. So I'm, I'm glad I have time to do stuff. Where's the Lordship himself, man? Who is that? Sneak at night? Yeah, I, I might just sneak out at night. If, <coughs> if I can't talk to, uh, Divish. Lord Divish. I just don't know where he is. Where did he go? Up here, maybe? Good health to you. What do you think... Actually, I do want to hear what that. What do you think about how the Scalitz folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on them, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. 
It's just a shame Fortune didn't smile on all of them. Oh, shit. Sorry. Do you know Sir Radzi Kobler? I wouldn't say I know him. I've seen him a few times. Why do you ask? He must be a fine lord to take such good care of every one of his serfs. Surely all the lords do that. Well, he's in trouble. Ah, I could tell you some stories. About Sir Divis? Jesus, no. I didn't mean it like that. Just that I heard stories from other soldiers that would make your skin crawl. I see. Take care now. He's... Whoa. Okay, I don't think he's in there. You can knock someone out if you crouch behind them. I think you need a dagger, though. The time goes by at the speed of light. That is how it works. On some planets. That's right. That's... Different room. Oh, a shrine. I cannot lockpick that. Okay. <clears throat> a place of worship. I'm in a private area. I'm gonna go and check if Lord Divish is at that same place he was given that speech, not speech, he was talking to the guy with. <coughs> Let's go. So it was out here to the left. But I think everyone, everyone kind of went off, I think, on their own. Up here. The guard. Nope. No, I think he left, man. All right, change of plans. I'm just gonna walk off the castle gates. <laughs> Wait, I need to save it. I need to save it by drinking this. Apply. You can apply it, like marinate stuff? Jesus. I may marinate my dinner later. A little bit. Can I jump off here? Uh, <laughs> I can. Oh shit! I'm not a prisoner. I'm not a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> You cannot stop me from my adventure. Adventure calls me into the wild. <laughs> you can't stop. Oh! Adventure calls me into the wild and I will I will thrive here. Just watch me. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what is this cutscene? It's like they've already gone. Oh my god. They took the bodies.
No, I don't need a horse right now. I'm good. So I guess your parents... Did they... Jesus. God damn it, man. They threw your parents, like, into the... Oh, never mind. I guess they didn't. I'm oh, sorry, I know it's not supposed to be funny. My man has a pretzel on it. <laughs> Got some beer too. Got a pretzel, some ranch dip, some beer maybe. <laughs> Bro has a pretzel, yeah. Hey, yeah. everyone here has a pretzel. <laughs> Uh, why do y'all have pretzels on you? Did I miss something? Was there like a like an event that I miss before Scalets uh, was burned? Were they handed out pretzels to everyone? I'm just gonna grab everything. <laughs> they call this the the Pretzelian massacre of Hungary. Or Croatia, I don't remember which one it was. This is... Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm sure you guys don't need all of these ingredients. I definitely need all of them since I am now a fugitive. Okay. Homecoming. Although my liege lord Sir Radzig Kobila forbade me to leave Tomberg and the lord of Tomberg Sir Divish complied with his wishes and tried to keep me in the castle. In the end, I succeeded in leaving. I have to get back to S I had to get back to Scalitz to bury my parents. I couldn't just leave their bodies to the dogs. Good on you. Sometimes you gotta take things into your own hands. <clears throat> oh god. Okay, how's my nourishment and stuff? I'm gonna have to find a place to, uh... <coughs> they gotta settle down in a bit. Condition. Ah, I see. What, were, what condition was the pretzel in? Did I not get the pretzel? <coughs> <coughs> Why is the pretzel in perfect condition? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Poor horse. What about Bianca, your beloved? Who's there? What's going on there? Oh god. Um I am not wearing any armor. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Oh! Fucking hell! Ow. Ah. Ah. Oh dear, did that hurt? Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh. oh! Oh my god, I did it! He's gone! Why do you have 14 apples in your pocket? Why don't you have 14 apples in your pocket? It's a dangerous world out there. You can grab the body. 
How long was I out? Or have I been out? Uh, a leather gambeson. Damn, I really fucked up that... Whatever he was wearing. Uh, I don't want any of that. Grab the body. <laughs> okay. I guess that's for stealth, maybe, so that people aren't alerted. Let's put this on. <clears throat> yeah, I got some decent clothes already. How did you get here? Did you have a horse? I'm gonna need those pretzels. Sorry. Is there a bed in here? Yeah, I, I... I don't know what time it is. <laughs> How far am I from where I need to go? Oh, g oh god. I really am going on foot without a horse. Okay. Boat cream for cheese. <clears throat> I'm going on foot. Oh my god, they were slaughtering people on the way to the castle. The castle that we just left. Damn, they even killed the horses? <coughs> That's so sad. Oh man. He recognizes them from his hometown. And they tried to leave. Oh my god. Click the horse symbol on the map to fast travel. Oh. Oh, okay. That helps a lot, but I kind of want to see what's on this road. Thank you for that. This against TOS. No, no, I'm, I'm not here to... I'm not here to hurt you. Hey! Come back! Maybe he was a looter. <clears throat> Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Yeah, I think he was just looting their bodies. That pretzel is not in good condition. Anything in the burnt house. No. Nope. Oh, there you go. C is to crouch. Nope. Alright. <clears throat> so far, it just seems like people were killed while they were trying to run away. That does seem strange. Like, if they were trying to hunt down the other guy for stealing silver or something. Why would they be killing innocent people? Unless that's just something that was done back then. <laughs> this is terrible. Hello? What's going on there? Well, I never. Oh, never God! Turned up willingly for this. Oh! <laughs> I hit you with that combo, buddy. Ah. Hey, 
Alright, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, stab, stab, yeah. Mercy kill. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Noble shoes. Nice. <coughs> we have plate armor now. Some gloves. Yep. Is there someone else there? Hold on, let me put this on. Nice, man. Oh, these are the slots. Arm. Stuff for the arm. Nice. Are these shoes... These shoes are better. <laughs> Get some gloves. Nice. I think I heard someone else over here. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> this is... Oh, God. I'm a little more sad about the horses. That is terrible. Any loot in here? It killed everyone. I think this place is probably cleaned out. Huh? Yep. Okay. It's horrible. I can I go through here? No. Let's go on the side here. <laughs> <coughs> you didn't. You guys didn't have to kill the horses. Who goes there? I'm using Sir Radzig's sword. I have a feeling this sword is gonna be used to kill him in the end. What's up? Who are you? Who's there? Answer to my friend. Just what I wanted to bend. Ah. Yeah, you try to don't rush at me. Yeah, back up, man. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Continue combat. Let him go disarmed. There you go. You're not going anywhere armed. Leave your weapon on the ground and get lost. What's to be done? Damn, I fucked up his <laughs> I fucked up his armor, dude. <laughs> Good thing one minute will add 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Okay. I'll take that. Well, I fucked up his jacket, it's not gonna help. You thought you were gonna loot some bodies and just call it a day, huh? What the hell? He was gonna beat me with a stick. <laughs> Alright. A bludgeon. That's just a big stick, man. How sad. This is supposed to be my home. With a sword in his hand. Yeah, these people got run over by the horses that charged in. Well, that money's 
not gonna help you anymore. Okay. <clears throat> well, we weren't where our parents died in the I beginning. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me. Well, Henry, you would have died. What are we going to do? Fight everyone? <clears throat> Wait. Is that Kunesh? That's not Kunesh, is it? I think it is Kunesh, because he has jack shit on him. Oh my god, no! no, no, no. Why? Not you. It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. Just wait a moment. I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. <laughs> it's not Kanesh. <laughs> Dude, Bianca. That's her body. Is he by here? By his house? Shit, that's his girl, yeah. It, they killed everyone. They killed everyone that he held dear to him. He's the lone survivor. That's his family. Why did he do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? To save his wife and be with her. Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. Oh, it's his redemption arc. I'll fuck the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. He was on the horse. The bald dude. First, I have to find the shovel and I'll take care of you. <clears throat> I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside mother. Here. Yeah. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. That's depressing as hell, man. Okay. Find a spade. At least his dad is with his mom, and neither one has to live without each other. So I think there's some good in it. I like that we can see our 
our own body. Looks pretty cool. Once we get better armor, I bet it'll look really sick. I hear a dog. Oh, that's true. I was hearing a dog. I just wasn't sure if it was close. Yo, any plans on playing Soma anytime soon? Uh, after I get... <laughs> After I get some of the, the AdSense revenue, which should be next week, I should be, I should be able to get that game, so, should be able to, I, I got a packed schedule and I'm excited, uh, I, gotta, I gotta edit a bunch of, <laughs> I gotta do my uh, ask me anything response, I gotta get more half sword stuff out, cause I'm, I've been missing that. A lot of stuff coming. I've just been sick, man. What happens when you get too excited? You get too fired up and excited about what's been happening, and you you burn out in a good way. <laughs> don't don't be like me. Go rest. Oh, get away, you mutt! Dog is mad. Oh shit! One of them's alive. Get away, you beast! You hey, beast! Hey! What's going on? Bishak. What in God's name are you doing? Bishak's alive. Digging turnips. The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the butcher? <clears throat> Mutt. Isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. He's defending him, dude. You fucking idiot. Can you not put two and two together? He's protecting I'd his master. Say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you? Want to bury my parents? Yeah, man. I need to bury my parents. <clears throat> so bury them and leave me be. Oh, have I disturbed your looting? Hey, can you give me that spade, please? Give me that spade. I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth? To I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? It's for Sir Radzik. My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go no. right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that is. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father wanted to be buried father here. Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take him to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. <laughs> After explaining. Alright, fuck you. See, a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. Shit, shit, shit! That's right! Turn tail and run, you bastard! Tackle? Oh! I've got business to take care of. My here. man's fast! God, how I wish to be gone from this. Oh, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know that he was a fucking running back for the 49ers. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I, I guess he left the spade anyway. Oh man. You alright? We should. No. Your good master won't be needing this. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Hello. How are you? Come on, dog. You can't stay here. It's dangerous. Oh man. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna loot your master. I'll come back for you. Doing good. Is this your first playthrough? Yes. Yes, it is, man. I got all the DLCs for it, too. It's been 
It's been a lot of fun so far. <laughs> I punched, I punched Kunesh in the back of the head earlier. I punched his hand on accident earlier too. <laughs> and he got mad. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, dig. Dig grave. Yeah, man, uh, Kunesh was uh, chopping the wood, I think. And uh, I didn't know left click was to punch. <laughs> and I, I punched the back of his hand. <laughs> and now we're here. I also decided to leave the castle just on foot. I just ran away. <laughs> Deserved, to be honest. Yeah, man. That guy had no... Had no care in the world. I did feel bad though because his wife left him and he lost everything, but still, he got responsibilities. Gotta take care of him. <laughs> oh, he did come by. Oh, you don't got a place to go, do you? Yeah, dog. He does look kind of silly, huh? That's what makes him a good dog. He's just silly. Let's get to it. Damn. <laughs> I'll never not laugh at how low effort graphics a dog is. He does look, he looks a little alien actually. Like the way his neck protrudes out. He's uh he's half xenomorph. <laughs> but it's not Don't Clifford. Know. This guy has had to grieve so much in a short amount of time. Do you guys think the, the folks back at the castle will understand me leaving? Because I did disobey them, but I mean, come on, man. He has you need some help? Is that him? Oh! Yes. Can't you see the sword? Oh, you fucking snitch! Who are you? What do you want? It's Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> oh! Negan is here! We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish Wait. The thought. It is my father's sword. Let's negotiate. You mean him? I don't think he's gonna be Negan. I know some great people at the castle. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for No, nah, man, they're very heavily armored. Leave me alone. Kill him, runt! I cut the bastard down! Don't die, dude. Don't. <laughs> As you like. You obviously don't know how to Could fight as much yet. Few teeth. Ah! Oh! Do I have to fight him? Hey, I don't want to fight this dude! I don't want to end up like Glenn! Hey! I'll slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I told you how it would end. Yeah, why don't you just give it to him, man? Just get it back later. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's part of your adventure, man. It's new, isn't it? Which you asked for. And now, 
for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. This fucking rat, dude. I, mean, I want to kill word. him. For such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. <laughs> Knowing this game, I feel like this is game life. over. <laughs> to die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuck it. Oh, never mind. Uh huh. <laughs> the games are over. I had a Marvel moment. The Avengers are here. Yes. Oh, they came to help. Oh, they came to help me anyway, even though I snuck away. <laughs> What a fucking intro. Wow. Tom McKay as Henry. Radzig. I'm still iffy on Radzig. Why me? Hello, why me? <laughs> plot armor too strong for the bandits. Uh, Henry here has a lot of plot armor. How lucky that he was saved at that moment. Did he get to bury his parents? I will run my ass all the way back there <laughs> as soon as I wake up. Backstory. Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. Oh, I think Doggy came with uh, uh came with us. Bald people are always evil. You guys better pray that I don't lose all my hair then. Pray that the financial stability continues to help my hair grow back. <laughs> intro that's cool an even bigger town <coughs> made a bigger town now <laughs> hey you finally awake they got us and that thief over there They got Gordon Ramsay over here. I think I'm I might want to work at the baker shop. Kind of like settle settle in for a bit. Awakening. Bro, I miss important lore. Where did the dog come from? We went back to We went back to bury our parents and the dog was there. Why am I in... Why do I have Xenomorph vision now? I feel like I'm in Prometheus. You must still be knocked out. Ah! You never- you've never seen this left hook before- Oh! Ugh. Come here! Yeah, I gained agility in my sleep. Ooh. They call me the Ryan Garcia of medieval times. 
Oh, we hit you with the four piece chicken nugget combo. Oh God, it might be time to leave. <laughs> oh God, they run fast. Do you need some help? So, Jason Statham took our sword and he was chased away on a horseback. Okay, he's still having a nightmare. Yeah, no doubt. He's definitely have he's gonna have PTSD for the rest of his life. Henry There's <clears throat> work to be done. That makes me wonder for soldiers back then. Uh Wake up, Henry. Like how did they classify PTSD back then? Hear me? Get up, Henry, wake up. It's a new day. Henry. Henry, you were having a bad dream. Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Bianca's you waiting for you at the tavern. Uh, Teresa? Hmm. You still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. They didn't. You're just crazy. Oh, wow. They just well, label you as crazy, and that's it, huh? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Oh, good. Okay, Any so we don't Christian have to run back the there. What about Bianca? You need your strength back. What about Bianca? <clears throat> A few H2O delirious days later. You're awake. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell Did you me. guys bury the Bianca? The you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you find me? Well, I... <laughs> you left. Yeah, what were you doing What in the there? world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead. <laughs> They're all, all dead? Of them. Oh, shit. Everyone I ever <laughs> loved. I killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, have some empathy, what Henry. What I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person. That now. would absolutely change you. First time PTSD was acknowledged was during World War One, when it was known as shell shock. Oh god. Yeah, I I think I watched a documentary on that. It's pretty disturbing. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later, I hear the SpongeBob voice. Good morning to you. Even How's later. The today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in <coughs> and caring for you. Sounds about right. I've been lying around long enough. Yep. I've been lying here long enough. These people uncle have been good be to you. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? <coughs> well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lyper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Adzik. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. 
But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you and for medicine. Yeah. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. It's I've all been good. you two weeks. My God. Better yeah, a fortnight man. in bed than an eternity in the grave. <laughs> if it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. If it weren't for uncle, you would have been like Glenn. I. I owe you my life. my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. Is Teresa going to be the new love interest? Hey. Henry. You were staring at her ass earlier. <laughs> so... That tells me you were already kind of entertaining being uh, a little unfaithful. Um, you didn't act on it, but it was in there somewhere. So, I mean, you know. I feel like. I feel like it's not too bad to you that Bianca passed away. <laughs> you were already kind of looking elsewhere. Uh <laughs> How immersive. DLC activated. Alright guys. You guys. <laughs> Bianca ugly anyway. Let's not be uh, mean. I'm not gonna lie. He was looking at Teresa. A little more. Visually. Teresa's the love interest. At least the main one. Alright guys. Thank everyone. Thank Lecha Flan. Because Lecha Flan got me this game and all the DLCs, absolutely everything, so that I could play it earlier. Because it was on sale and I couldn't get it for myself, so she decided to get it for us. Treasures of the past, a legend has been circulating about stashes, okay. The long abandoned village of... <laughs> Pribi Slavitz awaits a return. Okay. I can read these another time, right? Because I'm not going to remember. <clears throat> not to mention the artwork, soundtrack, and the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. I actually. <laughs> uh, the artwork is going to be featured in the thumbnails. Doggy! Oh! Oh! Be careful with those moves. A word with you, young fellow. Yes. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you for helping me. You're telling me you couldn't get this game and it was on sale for four bucks? When I tell you, I put every single thing I had into content creation, I meant it. And it paid off. Except I don't get paid until the 23rd, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get paid well from my content creation stuff, but when I tell you I took a risk, <laughs> I took a risk. <laughs> In South Africa, it's 1.43 uh, a.m. Oh man, you, you might need to go to sleep soon. That's pretty late. I'm Henry, thank you for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took Teresa. care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying <coughs> here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. All right, fair it's enough. It's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. Hey, this you guy's pretty... Me, you're a clever lad. I might trust you with something you could really make money from. He's pretty what nice do for say? doing all that for us. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. here. <laughs> hey, good morning. <laughs> uh, what would you need from me? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. 
just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid <laughs> fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. All right, all right, all right, fine. I'm prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, <coughs> take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? <laughs> There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. Hey, that fellow is dead. this man was made for the Whatever United States. Heart came up with the idea Hell that yeah. Disrespectful to disturb a corpse. Never read the Bible. It's still a human body. Only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something <laughs> created by God? He is really working his way around it. Yeah, sure. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard <laughs> enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. <clears throat> Here's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? <laughs> well. They throw meat for the dump. executioner, too. Good luck to you. You got spirits. Oh, he gave us a drink. Okay, I'm back from shower and home working. Hello again. This guy knows what's up. He absolutely does. Dog, I want you to stay here. It All right. So we, oh, damn. Damn! Oh my god! Do you think they're mad at me for leaving the castle? Like what if, Like what if I went back there? <laughs> they wouldn't be mad at me. One of the guys uh, from there helped, I think. Alright. What can we do first? Vengeance and Awakening. Why don't we do Awakening first? <clears throat> Get your things from the trunk. Sure. Wash yourself? Yes, wash yourself. Oh. Guess I'm already clean. Dog's lagging out. Yeah. He is. Nourishment. Yeah, eat some more stuff, man. I guess I can't anymore. Oh, damn. This must be DLC. <laughs> uh, this is all my stuff. Reading. Being able to read was a very rare skill in the Middle Ages and common blacks- And a common blacksmith's son certainly wouldn't have been literate. To understand written text, you will have to find someone who can teach you to read. I forget that reading was quite the privilege back then. I think you were also seen as a threat if you were able to read, too. Let's put our stuff back on. My scarf. Warhorse Gambeson. When did I get this? I don't remember getting that. I guess I will use the fucking bludgeon. <laughs> How'd you leave the castle? Did you break your legs in the moat like I did? Absolutely. 
I did. I tried every other way, and then I was like, oh, fuck it. I just, I just jumped out. And then they, like, tried to yell for me, and <laughs> I just ran. <clears throat> That's a DLC quest. Okay, we gotta go to A. All right. No horse. We're just walking. How beautiful. Jumped the bridge and broke my legs and limped out of town. I don't think I broke my legs, actually. Like, I jumped out, but I didn't get hurt or anything. <laughs> like, I jumped onto a rock nearby. Oh, who's having a cookout? Can I have some? Oh, I see that food. Can I have some? I'm hungry. Discovered baths. Can I have some food and a bath? Hi, lovely chickens. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> uh, don't. I know I'm a stranger, but. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. <laughs> Has something happened? I, I, well, I ate some of your food. Thank you. Henry going to commit war crimes? I hope not, man. Okay. You can take a bath here. Okay. It must be in here then? No? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is actually really relaxing. Hey, why get a therapist when you can just play this game and take a walk here, huh? <laughs> Talk to the maids. Ah, all right. Bathhouse proprietor. God be with you. What can I do for you? God be with you. I'm interested in your uh, services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? To have a bath and laundry. Oh, you could do a lot. <coughs> to pay for a wench and everything that goes with that. Are we dirt? I don't think we're dirty. They probably cleaned us up, Actually, huh? Actually, never mind. Yeah. I don't have much money, so I don't want to... I'm pretty clean. I think. I don't know if there's anything here that mentions how clean you are. It makes sure some guy... A random guy comes to eat your food. <laughs> yeah, like, no one... Uh, dangerous in particular, just someone who's hungry. Yeah, I could eat some more. Yeah, eat some more, man. Oh, oh! You've eaten too much. You won't be hungry for a much longer time now, but you'll be clumsy. <laughs> until you've digested everything. <laughs> Damn. I'll be eating too much. <laughs> you get an achievement for staying a virgin the whole game. <laughs> God will be pleased. I don't know. We'll see. If Henry gets too stressed out during his adventures, though, he might need to... He might need some stress relief, so who knows. Maybe with Teresa. Who knows, huh? Maybe we'll meet the other love interests. <coughs> it's a nice castle. Uh, on the map, fast travel, all the... Oh, okay. <coughs> Damn, you never know, yeah. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? My name is I'm Henry. Henry. Son of the Scarlet's Blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? I have 
his sword. I'm, I am his blacksmith, that's true. Yes. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to speak <coughs> to him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. Yeah, you... What? You, that it makes no sense. You didn't even mention that. Or you didn't even mention, like, the blacksmith part. He may want to see his blacksmith. I may not see? look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. <laughs> Go ahead. It'll what? be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. I, ba I basically said the exact same thing, just in a different font. You're lucky, I want to I wanna punch you in the back of the head. You aren't the brightest, are you? Oh no. Poor guy. Sir Radzik, what is this about you stealing from the silver mines? Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. Oh! It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. They survived. Oh, shit! Uh, I was attacked by bandits. Bandits attacked me in skulls. And why, for God's sake, <clears throat> did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. Yeah, he took I'm down sorry. a lot of people. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. We're and just man. what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. Hey, you got right. some good pals. And just what are you doing here? Hey, these guys are better friends than the other ones at the tavern. I'm gonna speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? They My took father a sword. made him a sword. He... <clears throat> he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened, and then I'm going to find the sword. There you of go. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Job, Hal. Guess his nickname is Hal, but his real name is Henry. Hello, good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I must be in the wrong place. Knight's Hall? Hmm. Ex excuse me a minute. Uh, downstairs, maybe? <laughs> I busted to his room. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to, man. <laughs> Hello? Oh, sorry. <coughs> hey, let me just... Hmm. Maybe it's all the way up? Sorry. Knight's Hall. Can I just come in? Okay. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Yep. <laughs> Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. Yep. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. What's this about the silver? Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Oh, damn. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish. Your I grace. didn't know your ward Just was well, you on the cover of the Vogue. Of town, eh? <laughs> <coughs> uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. 
I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. No. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of By the way, that's not nights. even what the Bible so says. The Bible says the love of, of money hungry. is the root of all evil. Pays, the more they make up for it with you should, you should talk that's to Father about us. that. He was after our silver. <coughs> what are you doing? You have no business here. Get all right, Clarice. Wait, it's Henry. Have a good one. Henry, who disappeared after Thank I you so much. ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to yeah, save you. So Sorry, Robert. you had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> uh. Your father was a remarkable man. <coughs> and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your yeah. children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robot, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Uh, <laughs> Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. Uh, if you're so concerned, father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything <laughs> left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> and one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of uh, Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come Fucking love, Hanush. I must get your sword back. Sword? <laughs> my sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves <coughs> stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. <laughs> Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor. And a dead man keeps no promises. Ooh. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire. <laughs> he looks and now like he wants revenge. <laughs> what kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Yeah. What yeah. do you mean to beat this thief at dice? <laughs> no, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy. Disobeyed your orders. Duke Sedivish lost your sword, puts a robot in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. So Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but 
How do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Ooh. Courage wise. and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. <laughs> Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Some <laughs> a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. Recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, All right. fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're <laughs> the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training. All right. And then send him to the bailiff. Hey, your adventure yes, is starting. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. <laughs> don't forget, Henry. Hanush. Don't disappoint me. Lord Hanush is cool. My Lord. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is great. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I'm loving it. I honestly was it. I wasn't really anticipating anything from the dialogue, but it's been really cool. Alright, we're gonna train, but... Are we- oh right, we, we are really well fed. <laughs> we- we've been eating out of the pots of- <laughs> Out of every person's pot. What time is it? It's almost night time though, we should probably find a bed. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, very, very well fed. Probably... Should probably hang it up for the day, and then head to training tomorrow. Um... I might not want to sleep here, though. Maybe we'll just go back to Teresa. Yeah, the big town. Oh, it's the stocks. You <laughs> put someone in here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking we're fast travel back. How do you fast travel? Can I fast travel? Yes, you can. Why don't we fast travel back there? And then uh, sleep for the night. Alrighty. Get father's sword back, that's all it is. Oh, that's right, we gotta pay this dude before he gets mad. Optional, should pay Miller, Peshek the dead. <laughs> it's optional. Okay. Let's go to bed. The accuracy of the sound to the real thing is really cool. The, the layout is one to one. That is awesome, dude. I'm very pleasantly surprised by this game. I'm glad I waited though. I didn't have a good enough setup for it for a long, long time. All right, buddy. Let's call it a night. Sleep in your armor. Wake up at five. The entrepreneur's schedule. <laughs> oh yeah, performance, it's definitely its biggest issue. I kind of figured with like how detailed it was. <clears throat> All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 
Oh, I can't eat from this again, I guess. Rise and shine. Wake up with the birds. Wow. The sun is barely up. And dog is still here. Let's go to training. Oops. There we go. Ratai. We are here. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a pretzel. <laughs> Quest giver. Okay. Activity giver. Unexplored place. Quest tipster. Wow. This is head straight to the training ground. The music sounds so happy. <laughs> oh, hot beggars. Good morning. Wow. We're, we're out on a morning stroll in the town. Like I'm gonna need a, a horse pretty soon here. Lots of places to explore, but we gotta train first. Tavern. Hell yes, the tavern. This game <clears throat> is just non-fantasy extremely detailed oblivion <laughs> yeah i'm just running oh that's beautiful do you see that oh he's mesmerized by it too he had a religious experience look at that Flashbang. <laughs> well, at least they have more than one dog model. Hey, 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 calm down. It's me. I don't want anything from you. I'm greeting your dog. Are you so paranoid? God be with you. Do you need anything? No, I don't need anything. May the Lord watch over you. Attorney? I am definitely not ready for that. It'll be a tournament tomorrow. You can Captain enroll by going here. to see the Herald in the morning. Should stop by during the day. <laughs> oh, I'm too early. Hey, I'm more disciplined than you guys. Get your ass up. The sun is up. <laughs> What if I just wait? I don't want to walk back and forth. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be soldiers. Up oh, bright and early. Got your lazy ass out here now, huh? I'll be with you. All right, let's go. And it's raining too. I'm here for training. <laughs> yes, you're that boy, Sir Ragsick said. <laughs> I'm not a boy. I'm a man. I'm not a boy. <laughs> That's for me to decide. Right now, boy is exactly <laughs> what you see. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something I simple. have held one before. Let's, I know a few things already. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine, we'll try something more advanced then. <laughs> that, all right, fine, all right. All right, Jesus. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. 
Can I faint in this game? Oh, what is he? How does he do that? Yeah, poke him. Hey, how do you do that, man? See, I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. Hey, <laughs> see? All right, let me lure you. Oh. Am I poking him or I don't know what I'm doing? Yeah, how does he do that? How does he counter? Fine. That's enough. My work cut out, it seems. That's life. <laughs> Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. The sword is low, run. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. All right. Good. It. All right. Oops. No. <laughs> no. Uh, that's it. Very good. Very good. I got your arm there. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right. No! Huh? Huh? What happened? Ow. Oh! Ow. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. Luke knocks the blade aside. Perform the perfect block. The fully... <clears throat> no, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. As soon as the strike starts? Again. Too soon again. Too soon? But as soon as... Well done. Wait, I did it? Okay. Well done. Oops. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go. There you go. Damn, Good. you gotta wait till the last second for that. Ah, uh, that's it! Oh! Not like that! <laughs> Not like that! No! Again! What? Wait, I can't tell if that was an overhead or on the... Well done. There All you right, go. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. Strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Thank you. The nice. fuck we, we kissed each other, I'm sorry. That's not it! <laughs> uh, that's it! Okay, it's not... It's not technically at the last second. Ow. Well done! Ow. 
Good. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So it is at the start. Well done. He says out. Oh. Good, good. <laughs> now full speed. He hit me one last time. Let's <laughs> go. Oh. Oh God, man. Oh, no, wait, wait. I can't tell if that's from the side or a perfect overhead. There you go. It was from the side. Wait a while, Henry. He bumped. <laughs> yeah. Good greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? I've killed people before. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand has grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. I'm not a boy. Is he jealous or something? Yeah, I don't know. Where he seemed kind of... I don't know, maybe he's just Leading teasing. Where you want There's one more way to evade a strike. Simply step aside. Attack, and I'll show you. Oh! Oops. Oh, quickly! <coughs> Alright, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. The same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump us up. We'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. How, how do I dodge? Did it say? What the fuck? I, I didn't do anything. Do you just... Nice! I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, I'm dodging. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. <laughs> oh! Nice! Okay. Oh, I did that too late. Oh! Good! And the last thing for today, a trick. A trick? Use the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment. Ah, I see, I see. Uh -huh. Alright, draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike. I guess that's, a, I that's technically a feint. Prepare to strike by holding. Oh, that's the feint. There you go. Good. Can I feint a stab? No! <laughs> no! That's it. Well, I can't feint from stab to swing, but I can feint the direction. That's not it! <laughs> no, no! That's not it! No! Oh. No! <laughs> no! Oh, I'm not oh. doing this right. There you go. Well, well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. Thank you. <clears throat> you have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent. Talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Don't leave yet. Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Oh, shit. There's archery? 
I know the NPCs had bows and arrows. I didn't know we could do that. <laughs> Wrong. No! Where are we going? Down here? Is it down here? Where are we going? Follow Bernard to the shooting range. Alright, I'm waiting for you. Environment looks... That looks really cool. I like that it's a one-to-one. -one. Like, it's, it's like a legit castle. Like, there's, there's no fantasy theme with it. It's just the fortress. Alright. Is it far from here? Oh, pig! We got piggy. Pig has a, a mohawk. Another tavern. <coughs> it's a really cool vid that came out recently about how accurate it is. That's cool. It if you want, you can drop it in. Let's see that. He's like, I Take don't know if flicks are allowed Go though. Stand in position over there. We can start. And All another right. thing, put I'm on this back. arm. What's guard. up, man? Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring. So be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks. Get in position. Did archers back then now need like really exactly strong back muscles? Of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests. How am I feeling? I'm all right. I'm far there. They're holding I'm actually like a firewood. After this quest, there's the target. Try and hit it. After this quest, I may call it and rest so that I'm well rested for next live stream. <clears throat> Thank you for asking. I gotta eat, then. I gotta drink, and eat dinner, and take care of myself, take it easy. Hmm. Okay. Draw your bow using two. This is my bow. Hold to load an arrow. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my lowest. Wait, I didn't. I, I didn't know it was time. Why are you wasting your time, Sivano? I didn't Nothing know it was time. Anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, <laughs> I didn't away, know it was. Peasant. <laughs> After all, he's done it before. <laughs> what did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. <clears throat> Roger, who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Beat you well, in what? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? Have I six. don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. What the fuck, dude? I did not know it was timed. The rules of the game are simple. You shoot seven arrows. The bullseye is worth three points. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Take your bow out. Oh fuck! Fuck 
me! Fuck! Fuck me! Fuck me! Oh damn, he's missing too. What the fuck? Oh, he got a fucking bullseye at the end. I'm gonna get it too. Fuck! Congratulations, sir. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminders? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told you. <laughs> I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Bro, you did not win by that let's much listen. either. Let's go! Sword fight? Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, what the fuck, dude? Oh! Here! No more fooling around! See, how does he do that? What the fuck was that? How do you do that? I don't know how I did that. He's faster. Dude, how is he doing that? Oh dear, did that hurt? Well then. Dude, how, okay. You're getting too close, man. Oh my god. Dude, why is his swing so much faster than mine? He's so fast! He's so fucking fast! Dude, I can't faint him. Ah, I got you. Dude, he's so fucking quick. He's so I don't know how he does that, man. My camera. I hate when he does that. Why is my camera? What the fuck is wrong with my camera? I can't see my fucking camera, dude. You're going to cry now. Well, we're even then. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. Godspeed, Blacksmith. Wait, what happened? And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. Did I win? What the fuck happened? He was... His health was lower. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> kiss him? You forgot your goodbye kiss. Okay. Let's wash ourselves. There you go. <laughs> I've never been rejected so hard that they just disappeared. <laughs> Alright, Bernard, what do you think? Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly.
Uh, he shouldn't have challenged he me. He shouldn't have challenged me. <laughs> Careful. You might be under Sir Radzik's protection, but to be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. <clears throat> now, go to the Rat House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Thank you, Captain Bernard. Okay, what time is it? It is... Damn, it's still morning. <laughs> hey, why are you running? Stop running! Why? Oh. <laughs> tackle. <laughs> I can tackle him. <clears throat> I may end off my day at the tavern. Uh, have some brunch at the tavern, save the game there, and uh, I, 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 I think I gotta take care of myself and head to bed, man. Did I? I don't want to get more sick. <laughs> don't tackle the lord of the city, you're a refugee. <laughs> Sometimes, you can't help yourself. I must not be going the right way. There you go. When will you stream again? I'm probably going to stream either Thursday or Friday. Again. Because I, I do want to keep this series going, and uh, I don't, I, I want it to be like part of the, uh, the half sword thing we go, got going on too. <coughs> and then next week I'm planning on introducing a, a horror game, so that we can introduce that into the rotation too. I I also got to work on getting this uh, this stream out as a video, so for everyone who can't join in on live streams or not behind, you know, you don't want to leave them out either. All right, here's a tavern. Fun fact: there's gonna be a lunar eclipse tonight. Really? <coughs> I love looking at the moon. Glad I caught a stream. Started watching your half sword. Gameplay feel better, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I wish I got some some hot wine Just like these folks have been getting Hey, you came here too after I beat your ass <laughs> You may excel in archery not even by that much too. I wasn't I just wasn't paying attention Greetings, what do you need? Can I go inside? Or is it not open yet? Or is it outdoors? Lockpick. Get some sleepy time tea? Yeah, man. I'm gonna have to do that. Chill out for a second. Uh, maybe read and respond to some comments. Get some good night's sleep. Where? How do I go in the tavern? Or is this it? Or am I too early? <laughs> it's empty in there. Yeah, no, this is it. Okay, I got- I, I just wanted to make sure. Hey, you want to drink some ale in the rain with me? Here, let me get some of that, uh... What was it called? It was called... The Schnapps. There you go. Let's get two of those. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Why is that so expensive? <laughs> Never mind, man. Never mind. I'll I'll drink the ones that I already have. Didn't you get spirits from 
Uh, Peshek? Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, I forgot. Hey, drink up, buddy. Let's drink together. I'm gonna need this. Yeah. Reach a new level in drinking. Yeah, do you, do you have something? Oh, you don't. Oh, he's sad. He has no drink. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it in front of you. Uh, eat. Game saved. There we go. You don't need to drink schnapps to save and quit, by the way. I just wanted to do it as like a ritualistic thing at a tavern. <laughs> it's just fun. You can save by it at the escape button too. I didn't know that. I thought you could only save like with a bed. <coughs> Other than the schnapps. Me after leveling up in the alcoholic perk. Hi Albert! Pretty expensive and easy to make when you unlock alchemy. Alright, cool. Medieval inflation goes crazy. Yeah, man. Alright, guys. Let's, uh, let's call it here. Take it on.